Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 42. Make contact. And, uh, I'm going to buy... Now we can get the Blood Rock for 60 insight. Well worth it once we, uh, towards the end of the game when we buy one bolt paper. This. Against Ibratas. We're gonna have to go here. Is it in the first because of the Cathedral Ward? Yes, we have to go to the Lumen Flower Gardens. Now, Ibratas has some best moves. Actually, if you there's a strategy for her, um, you need to bait her to do a head slam, and then you can just attack her head. So we're gonna go through the broken window here. We see all the little alien babies praying. Should have taken the eye runes off, but that's okay. Now we can finally get this item up here. Which is a call beyond arcane item. We can't use it yet. I think we need... Oh, I was leveling up. We need 40 arcane to use this. Um... But this is actually... Mikalash was using this. Uh, long ago, the Healing Church used Phantasm to reach a lofty plane of darkness, but failed to make contact with the outer reaches of the cosmos. The right failed to achieve intended purpose, but instead created a small exploding star. Now a powerful part of the choir's arsenal, at times failure, it's of, uh, at times failure is the mother of invention. So they failed at making contact, and that is what was produced from it. Um, I was hoping to get my arcane up. I didn't realize I needed that much. Be careful with this guy. Um, and then we take this. Now, this is hidden. Past the. Oh, wow! And we get a, uh, Damien of Nuts. So I'm not going to use help, but I didn't realize that after the DLC came out, they added uh, someone to help you with this. That's pretty cool. And this is the altar of despair. There's another great one right there. Ibertas. Or is it uh, the daughter of Ibertas? Excuse me. But look at that. This is so nasty. And she's hiding something back here. So we're gonna get in front of her. Stay away from. Oh, 
Hit her in the head. Get a visceral. This is even, this is a plus nine. It's not even a plus ten. Now we'll go back here where we see a uh, ROM looking altar. Expect it. So we offered the flesh of Annalise, the uh, queen of the vile bloods, to this. So the time flows in reverse for the scrap of flesh. So apparently the Great Ones can reverse time, which is really interesting. So now that we gave her Annalise's uh, flesh, if you remember, from Cain first, we can actually, we've actually reversed time. And the... Um, great Ones reverse time for us, and now Annalise is alive again. And uh, I guess I'll show you. I was gonna we go to the look areas. Now about Link Wings Chambers. So I believe I made her. But now she's alive with no additional dialogue. Vile blood or near. See? Closest of kin, bearer of our blood, I welcome thee. What is thy wish? That's it. We are for the honor. <laughs> so you can still offer. Excellent. A menu. Uh, but now, actually, we should read the Great Ease. Chalice. Um, great chalices unlock deeper reaches of the labyrinth. The Great Ease Chalice becomes the cornerstone of the choir, the elite delegation of the Healing Church. It was also the first great chalice brought back to the surface since the time of the Bergenworth and allowed the choir to have audience with Everthas. Super interesting. So this was brought back, this was the first chalice brought back to the surface. They've been excavating in there. Let's create that. Let's see if we have enough to create that. Oh, we do need to do the defile. Oh. The defile chalice is actually the last chalice that uh, we need to do. That's the one with the Arnhem. So we need nine of them, so we need to um, get that. Um, we need... Let's see. I think we only actually need three more chalices and we're done. Um, but we need that for that. 
and uh, we need to get Arcane Haze, which we can extract from there. Um, let's see if our Kindle Blood will give us some levels. Sorry, I was just thinking, what am I going to do next? Let's get some more. <laughs> We're only 11 minutes in, so let's actually go to the... Hmm. I don't want to start the DLC. We beat Ebertas. I don't want to make this a short episode, so... We'll just go to the Lower Loran and start that. We have 60 insight now, so I can get another blood rock. <laughs> Which I think I actually might do, because I have so much insight stored up, and that's why I recommend you do We're going to try to get the vitality up to 50, um, and stamina up to 40, and then uh, get blood tinge up a bit. I can use the Chicago if I wanted to. And, ah, the first part, right here. I think Great E sent a file there last one, because the file chalice is, um... Three blood files. I kept those eye runes on. I'm actually glad I did. Because... I'm playing offline. Probably should play online for the messages. Not even worth messaging. Two blood vials. And a bolt damp blood gem. That's actually real nice. I don't know why these higher level. You can always farm this dungeon at the beginning, just get one, but I like doing the long strategy of getting the ailing lord. Is that up? Love the sock lever. I know I should mix it up a little more, but gosh, this it, really the sock lever is so OP. Go this way first. There's so many beasts in the game that ah, Kin Hunter's damp blood gem. That is a. In hunters. T 
attack versus kin up 10.9%. That's actually phenomenal. For the last boss in the DLC. One more ritual blood five, which we need. Worth the killing those guys. I didn't realize they, they dropped that. That's actually a really good gem. Or the last boss, because it's going to be... Well... Yeah, I mean, they are classified as a kin, excuse me. Yes, they are classified as a kin. So... Um, would have been good against Ebertas, too, but I didn't realize how much I wrecked Ebertas, not just by jam... Uh, Get wrecked. Get Sage's hair from that. It's nice. More chalice materials. That's up. Original Blood 5, which we need, which is nice. I don't think there's any hidden in this whole oh, On, we finished the first part. Go forward now. I think actually I can get this blood echoes I can buy the last from a couple armor sets. Beasts here, huh? Okay, go. Uh, these. I hate these. Just, I just think this is just so creepy, don't you?
blood gems? That's okay. There's another little side path. I would assume there is, because that was pretty short. No, there isn't. Okay, that's the boss. Let's go back. Tackle the boss in this episode now? Let's see. But we should actually change up our runes a little bit. Get rid of the eye runes. Dress like uh, our bro. See who it is. Not too bad. Quick one right here. That Defile Chalice is the hardest shit, by the way. Oh, I still have 30,000? It's a war and silver beat. Really? That was easy. Now we got a dirty, damp blood gem number six. Level six. That's not bad. Okay. Well. Um. 
Maybe everyone should farm this. Five minutes. I could do the next part, maybe. <laughs> I won't. We'll keep this episode nice at uh, 25 minutes. Wow! <laughs> I did not expect that. Um, how good that child or uh, that uh, blood gem is. Sixth waning gem. But now we can actually buy Interset. Complete it. Um, I believe I got the Chikage already. All I need is maybe the stake driver. I don't like it. But we'll save it. Um, let's see if we can create that great E. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll finish, uh, hopefully, next two layers in the next episode. Big contact!